Alright, as y'all could probably already tell by the title of the video, the boy came in the mail from eBay today. That's right, it's my video tape cleaner from Geneva. VHS tape cleaner. Yep. Came in brand new. I've already opened it up and checked everything here. Sorry about that, I was looking at that text. But anyway, um, I pretty much opened everything up. There was, uh, like foam and stuff in here, packaged up. But I already tossed them all out because I didn't need that in there. Because I'm about to, I'm about to use them. All the stuff that's in here. Alright, so here's what the tape cleaner looks like in Orange Glory. You got the rewind section, the fast forward section, the stop button. Start button. Okay, I don't want to push that. And the eject button. And here's this thing that uh, shows a uh, rewind cleaner. This is going to be a very long video, I bet. Because I already got some comments telling me that... Uh, uh, well, not telling me, but uh, saying that uh, I should do a demonstration video on this. And uh, there you go. You're welcome. And uh, inside, it also came with a cleaning solution and some new uh, pads. There are already some in here, but that's just for whenever they get used up too much. So this is where your tape would go in. Okay. In here is the plug and adapter for it. Okay, I'm gonna put the camcorder down so I can undo this, so one brief second. And then we'll get started. Alright. It's gonna go and do here, plug that in. And I'm gonna go find somewhere to plug this. Okay, pick up the camcorder. Alright, where am I gonna take this? I guess I could do it over here. Chromebook is done charging, so I guess I'll do it over here. So, uh, how am I gonna? Yes, that works. Okay, great. I'm gonna need to grab the instructions. I can guarantee I'm gonna need those. Cause this is my first time ever using this. And I'm gonna go get my moldy tape. I'm gonna use it on. Right there. Oh, real quick. Uh, before we begin to this, I just want to uh, show y'all that I, I've updated my clamshells. Uh, a long time ago, I had all my clamshells doubled in the shelf like this. But as y'all might have uh, saw, <laughs> it was so hard for me to get to any clamshell I needed to get to. So uh, I did it this way, and uh, this method works pretty well. I'm impressed. Okay, but anyway, that's... Let's not get into that. Let's... Okay, so I remember that I've gotten a brand new sealed copy of the Extreme Weird 2060 just at the backyard against Poker Palace Party. Actually, I'm gonna grab my phone just in case. Okay. Alright. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna take out my shoes with us. I'm gonna be sitting down the entire time. Maybe you're gonna hurt from this. Okay, so, uh. Yeah, so I'll show off the tip once again. I did get a refund on this. Uh. Because of the mold. Bought it brand new and it's, uh. It came in moldy somehow, some way. So. Let me take a look at this and, uh. 
I'll begin this demonstration video, I suppose. Alright. Okay. All right. Here's the clean solution. Uh, didn't say how many drops I needed in there. Uh, let me look at that. Six to eight drops. Oh God. Um, is this even open? Right. Hmm. One second. I can't open this with one hand. Okay, this smells like alcohol, so this is alcohol inside this uh, solution, so. You need six to eight drops. I may not be able to show this to y'all, I'm afraid. Cause, uh, well, I should have brought up my tripod for this, but. I didn't plan this ahead of time, so. It was my fault. And, all right, so you need six to eight drops. Oh yeah, and uh, I think it's best that you rewind the tape, but if it's already in the moldy section, then uh, well, I guess you do what's best. Yeah, it's at the very beginning to where it's moldy. Alright, six to eight drops going in. in the cleaner. Once again, I'm not going to be able to show this. One, two... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I did see on another YouTube video that uh, it took a while to get this out, but uh, that was not the case here. Okay, so the the alcohol solutions and the cleaner. So there's one thing left to do, I think, and it's to put the tape in. So, um, push the stop button. Okay, first you need to put your tape in. Scoop that out of the way. All right. Let me scoop back a little bit. All right. This is how your tape is supposed to go in. Something like this. You slide it in like this. Make sure it's in place. Alright, close it. There it is. Now, there are three buttons the stop button, the start button, and the eject button. Obviously, we're going to have to push the start button, and since this tape is at the very beginning, we're going to fast-forward the tape. Uh, it was already on a fast-forward thing, but if you turn it this way, it's a rewind. And here we go. Let's see what this does for us. Hope it does something. Hoping for the best. So, um, while this is going, I can talk to you up for a bit. <clears throat> hmm. What did it talk about? Oh yes, uh, my media collections I have planned on doing, uh, sometime soon. That's gonna be right after my Barney VHS DVD collection, 2021 edition. I'm gonna be doing that, uh, either this weekend or next week. Cause I am going out of town once again tomorrow. Maybe. It hasn't been confirmed yet. It is possible, but uh... If anything does change, I'll let y'all know in my community tab. Uh... So that's that, and uh... Of course I have forgotten some DVDs in the last update I did on Wednesday. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> it's not my fault, I... I'm forgetful some of the time, so... Yeah, and uh... Oh my gosh! I think this is working now just fine. See that? The side's actually clear. This might work. 
<clears throat> I don't know what I'm gonna do for my next VHS lips. I'm thinking about doing my... I guess I could do the 2004 Pema VHS of Tall Toby's Magic Pumpkin and other stories, since that's the last of the Pema 2004-2005 tapes that need to be up. Cause here come the Teletubbies, Christmas in the Snow and Go Exercise of the Teletubbies all have been up with the Magic Pumpkin. I've already uploaded the DVD copy last year when uh, one of my Google Plus Hangouts friends uh, closed down his YouTube channel because that's where uh, the whole rip was actually at because it's no longer on there anymore. I had to upload it myself from my one home video DVD copy. So yeah. Hmm. Well, do I need to mention anything else? No. That's it. Bada bing, bada boom. It stopped automatically. Now you have to take it out. But you gotta be very, very cautious doing this. Because the tape might pop out. Even if you don't push the eject button. Obviously you need to, but... Oh no, I need to put a camcorder down, in case it pops out. What? What? Is this thing jammed? Oh no, there we go. Well, I pretty much got the whole end of the tape. Mm. Well, let's take a look at it. Not bad. Not bad at all. But the question is, did it even get picked up? I mean, I could still see some lines of it, but, uh, it'll probably take a couple more passes, maybe, to get this through. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to open up the tape. I need to open up the tape so I can clean out right there, that reel. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, uh, when you're done cleaning out a tape, you have to open up the tape and clean out everything. Yes, everything. You have to, otherwise uh, the mold will go back and be damaged again. So we're gonna have to do that. <laughs> oh no, look, look. It actually did pick up something. Oh my gosh. It used to be clear, but uh, look at that black. It was not like this. No, it was not like this. Not even close. Not even close, I guarantee you. Whew. Well. So, that's that. Well. Now that's done. Uh. I guess I have no other... I guess I don't have anything else to do besides clean out the tape, so. And since this is a cleaning tape video, I might as well go leave the camcorder here and pull out everything I need, so, uh, one second. Almost done.
Okay, obviously this is what you're gonna need. Some cotton swabs, cotton ball, and alcohol. And I'll show you how to clean all the moldy parts. You need it. Uh, okay. Okay, we're good. Nah, this is not gonna work. Kim quit it down so I can do this. I might give this another run. Maybe. Depending on how this goes. Do we want a uh, por portion this time? I think it does need it. But it looks a little bit better than it did the other time. So, I'll give it that. I'll probably have to apply some more of those drops again in the cleaner. And yes, you, you will have to clean up this side here too. So, hmm, how to do this? Okay, first of all, I'll pick this up very, very carefully and show y'all what the tip looks like. Not too bad, but I think it needs one more run. And one of the pieces fell out, and I can't even get it out. Come out, please. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. So the only... Since all the mold was on that side, I would just need to clean out this... This little... Metal piece thing here, and uh... This, so... For those two little pieces, I would recommend using cotton swabs with alcohol on it, so I'm going to get that on there, and make sure you dry them up too, whenever possible, whenever you're done. Okay, and it's what? Let's do this. Normally, you would have to clean out the entire thing, but I don't think that's the case with this one, but we'll see. Not much picking up from here with this. I'm going to get a towel and dry this off. <clears throat> Alrighty, now for... This. There's a lot of black stuff on here, so I assume that's mold. I think. I'm gonna try to get. Oh, yeah! Look, 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 look. look at that. Yuck. Yeah, this will be indeed a long video, so. Hope y'all don't mind that, otherwise, I don't know what to tell y'all. So much to do with this uh, cleaning. Okay, there's still a bunch of black on here. I don't know what. I don't know if this is mold or not, but I'm going to assume it is. If it's not, but if it's not, then I don't know. But yeah, almost done. And then I'll check the inside of the of the cassette and. Uh, See if anything else needs to be done with that. Okay. That looks a little better. Okay, I guess that's done. And let me pop pop the wheels out. Uh just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna clean these out too, so I'll do just that. <clears throat> mm. 
Looks like this is worth my money for sure. I had to pay uh, about $150 for this thing. So glad it, it took off uh, the bad mold on the tape. Yeah, I took out a lot of the bad mold. And uh, a little later, I'm going to test this tape out, and then uh, I'll get back to y'all, see how it works. I'm going to put it in my main VCR, though. I'm not going to put it in my combo player just yet. Uh, I think it's best that you put this any cleaned off tapes in uh, VCR you don't use that much first before you use your most prized possession VCR. Alright, now I'm gonna... I don't think it needed to be cleared out right here, but uh... Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, so... I'm gonna do that just to be safe. Okay... <clears throat> okay, all of those little mechanisms are cleared out. Uh, to where the tape could have caught the mold, so that is good news. I wonder if this tape is gonna have a rough start at the beginning or throughout because of the alcohol on the tape, but yeah, that's that's why I tell y'all that uh, to test this out on a VCR you don't care about first. Pretty much, I don't care about uh, this VCR anymore because the combo player definitely beats it. Especially it's fast we wind. Oh, let me tell y'all. <laughs> it was that fast, uh, uh, fast we winds. Alright. I think that's all cleared out. I could go ahead and put everything back to its original form. Then I'll give this one more pass and, uh, I'll go test this tape out. Uh, see how it works. What's this at? Okay, now I'm going to put the tape back in. I'm going to try to get it to all the clear spots so that I can give it one more pass of the cleaner. Because I think it needs one more. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. That was my bad. I forgot to clean out the reel here. <laughs> Well, I caught that just in time. Yeah, you need to clean this out if that's where the mold is contaminated. You have to. It is an absolute requirement. It's a must. So, I'm going to do just that. Wow, some of this stuff is hard to come off. And then, I guess you dry it off afterwards. Yeah, you might have to. Okay... I'm getting underneath too. Uh, doesn't look like anything's skin picked up, but do it anyway. For the. Just to be on the safe side, of course. Okay, now I'm gonna dry it off. So let me take these wheels out of here and uh, dry this up the best I could. It's gonna be hard, but I have to fold up my towel and get underneath all of the wet spots just to make sure I dry this up completely good. And I don't want anything going wrong if it's still wet. Okay. Next up, I have this. I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost done. <clears throat> that I think about does it wait 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 ah yes oh there we go and during that process I accidentally got the film strip posted okay there we go easy easy fix now we can put this tape back together, do one more pass on this, and uh, I'll give this a, this tape a test run in the main VCR, see how this works. 
I don't know if it's gonna have a rough story or whatever, but yeah, I'll watch this tape throughout just to make sure and I'll keep you up as posted in the video. Alright, we're going to put the tape back in together, I think. Or not. We got something once again. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of mold uh, spreads all over the place. Okay, I'm going to get this whole entire thing. And there's actually mold underneath the lid, as, as I just saw. I'll have to get that too. Look, 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 look. There's mold underneath the lid. I need, to, I need to break that apart and, uh, well, not break it apart, but get it out and then clear it out. Uh, for the hard to reach places, use uh, cotton swab again. Because I did see some mold spurs on the underneath. Yeah, I'm going to need to break the lid off. Alright, let me get underneath here. Grab this uh, stuff off, and I can dry it. <clears throat> and this whole thing too. Well, I did not think this was gonna be a long video, but it is, cause there's so much you have to do cleaning out moldy VHS tapes. And taking it apart to get the inside is definitely the big key. I'm almost done now. And then I'll get the top uh, windows too. Alright, take a look at this. Looks like we're good. Put the lid back on. Excuse me, dude. And we're set to put the tape back together for one more pass of the rewind. I think this reel should be just fine. If the mold is on one side, then I think it's all good. Alright. Alright. What the? Okay. Wow. Well. Now let's glue this back in and uh, I guess do one more pass and uh, rewind for him and uh, see how this works. We may have a rough start on the tape, maybe. That depends. Mm. One second. I I'm having trouble getting the screws back in. Tip doesn't want to stay in place, so I have to. Why are the screws not going in? <sighs> okay, one of the screws got stuck. That's just great. Just great. Uh... Okay, I have one more supposedly. There's still one stuck that got jammed in there. Not good. Why is this not going in?
Okay, I'm gonna have to cut right here because uh, the screws are having a lot of trouble right now. I don't know why they didn't want to go back in. So, uh, I'm gonna have to be back in a little bit until I can get these screws uh, uh, to behave themselves. So, I'll be right back. Alright, after many failures with the screwdrivers, I finally got them in place. And I'm taking another Phillips screwdriver. It's a little bigger one, so uh, this helped out. I guess this one was too small, apparently. I don't, I don't know. It, it worked uh, when I opened it up. So, that I don't get. But yeah. Oh, God. Alright, one more pass on this, so, obviously, same thing once again, eight drops, so, one, two, three, four, okay, eight has made it in, so, same, Stuff as always. Pop this open. Make sure the door is not uh loose. It's already loose for whatever reason. Okay. Because this is the rewind portion, we're gonna switch the mechanism to rewind. And alright. So there that goes. Currently awaiting on the final results. Well that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this ECR here. I'm gonna test this out. So Oh, I have slipped. Okay. Let me change that. Oh, let me do a quick copyright. Okay, there we go. Hi. There's the main VCR screen. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, and uh, while this is still cleaning, I might as well point this out that uh, I did order a new VHS tape from eBay on July 15th. Uh, that was yesterday, actually, but it was around... No, I think it was yesterday. I was about to say midnight, but I didn't order it on midnight. It's this tape right here. It's a 2004 VHS of Tonka Top Truck Adventures, the biggest show on wheels. I'm not ordering anything else for a while because of how much I had to pay for this. So that's that. <clears throat> oh, and that Blue's Clues, uh, and you, Blue Stock Remake DVD I'm soon getting from FETC 728. And it's not being shoved out till Monday. I assume he has stuff to do, so, uh, that's understandable. I could wait a lot. One of those uh, dumbass fuckers that are impatient or toxic. I could wait. A few days is not gonna hurt me. We're almost done here. We'll take a look at the last final results. Here we go. Here we go. All right. It's a little hard, but there you go. Uh, 
that that don't seem right I think hmm. did we even pick up anything it looks like it did It might be this wheel. Okay, I'm gonna go check on this some more and uh, see if this is the problem. If that is the wheel that's uh, looking like it's still got mold in it and all, I'll probably have to swap it out with another tape. So, I'll be back once again. Oh yeah, I just found out that uh, the problem, it was the wheel. I thought I had cleaned it off. Apparently I didn't, so I redid it again. And that stuff is not coming off. So, I had no other option but to swap out the, the reel. Like, I had to take out the film with a uh, thumbtack just to get the film out of this uh, little mechanism thing. I don't know what you call it, but uh, I swapped it out with another tape. Now, if y'all really want to know badly on what tip I swapped it out, it's this one right here. But no, 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 no. that's not the copy uh, I had that works. That's not it. It was that. It was that broken copy that came in this uh, two thousand two cordon case for Larry Boy Lego My Ego. Cause it came with the wrong tape. That was the wrong tape that was inside. Like I said, I have a copy that works. So. Yeah, uh, so, uh, swapped out the reels from that. Yeah, as you can probably already tell, this tape's too broken to be played. Like I said, I have a copy that does work, so. I didn't feel like, uh, getting all the way to the end, uh, by hand, because it does take time, so I decided to use my Clino just to fast forward. Just for fast forwarding, just to get this, uh, Wheel out here to make it all even. See? See how uneven that is? I don't like that, so. I'm gonna swap them out and, uh. See what I think. Alright. I got them all off. Swapped out. Uh, the way they should be. There we go. Now for these over here, I put into my broken copy of uh, this tape. Uh, where was? Oh, yeah, some of this stuff will not come off. So obviously, I fast forwarded it to the end. This broken copy of uh, this tape right here. Oh, and uh, that reminds me for uh, this Lego My Ego tape, uh, I did not get. I'm still having a lot of trouble finding me a copy. So until I can find me a copy, I'll, that's when I might do my VeggieTales collection for this year. But right now, I'm, I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble finding this uh, exact tape I needed, so. That's why I may not get around to it for a while. But yeah, this tape uh, has been cleared out. Everything. I mean, there may be still some lines of the stuff, but, uh, I got most of it clued out, so, I think it is good to go. Alright, let's see if this even worked. <sighs> Alright. We may receive a rough start. Let's find out. Find. Ah, uh, yeah, there is that rough start I've mentioned. Mm, looks
looks fine. Okay. Looks like it's going. It's All right. I think this one did the job. I did it. Well, I guess I am good to say that this thing here did its job. Let me see how... I'm pretty sure there's still more uh, stuff in here. Oh yeah, look. There's more. Yeah, it looks like it does work. And my camcorder is about to die, so what I'm going to do is, uh, okay, I didn't see any damages at all on you, so I'm going to get this cleared up, and uh, while I'm gone, I'm going to go watch this tape and see how this works, so I'll be back with y'all with the last and final uh, results. Alright, uh, y'all, I got done watching the tape. It did indeed work. No major damages were on here at all. It played almost uh very well actually. And now here's a good look at the tape. It is pretty much clear uh than before. So this does work. The this tape cleaner right here down below. And yes, I've cleaned up all my mess. Oops. Uh, what's this used? Nah, I can put this back in my bathroom. Okay, anyway, this does work. And I still have a picture of the tape before it, uh, it was pretty much unplayable. Let me pull it up and then I'll compare it. Alright, so there's that exact moldy tape. Before. And then after. Yeah, it definitely did work. This was definitely worth my $150. Because that's how much I had to pay for this. It was definitely worth the money. So there you go. That was a demonstration video on this uh, tape cleaner. Geneva video tape cleaner. And uh, if y'all want to get something like this, all I can say to y'all is, good luck on finding one. Because these, thing, these things are very, very hard to find. They're not going to be easy finds, and they cost a lot of money. Uh, especially in new condition. Because if you get one used, uh, you may not get spare pads, or... The pads will probably be dirty uh, by now. I'll show you the dirty pads one more time. Look. See that? Disgusting. Alright, so I could, uh store it this way next time I need to use it. So yeah, there you go. It did indeed work. So uh, the old reels in this tape were a problem. I cleaned them out numerous times and that stuff didn't want to come off. So I had to swap them out from this broken tape of course. As mentioned, so uh, yeah, you definitely have to open up the tape to clean out uh, the moldy parts. Uh, where you might have missed. And if it's impossible, you all have no other choice but to swap out real. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I... Yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching this very, very long video on every, everybody. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Especially uh, for those of you that wanted me to do a demonstration on this so badly. Yeah. Take care, everybody, and have an awesome weekend. Thank you. This is Fabian's Media Corner 2001 signing out.